Hi, everybody. You have reached math practice with me, Mrs. Smith. This video is a short one, and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Today, we're going to answer the question on every kid's mind. How do you multiply fractions? Oh my goodness, I thought you would never ask. To multiply two fractions, you just multiply across. You multiply the numerators with each other, and you multiply the denominators with each other. You don't need to find common denominators, you just multiply straight across. You do need to know your multiplication facts though. Because of course we need to know our multiplication facts so that we can multiply straight across when we're multiplying fractions like these. When multiplying fractions, you will first multiply the two numerators. Two times three, in this case, and that's six. And then you'll multiply the two denominators. Five times four, in this case, you got it. Two fifths times three fourths equals six twentieths. Now, we could simplify that answer, but that's for another day. Right now, we're going to practice multiplying across, multiplying across. Let's review the steps and then you can give it a try. Step one, say it with me multiply the numerators. Step two, you know how to say it. Multiply the denominators. Step three, simplify and high five. And then you'll be multiplying fractions in your dreams. And you can wake up and do it all over again. Let's try these. You know, now that you're awake and everything. What is the product of 3 fourths times 2 thirds? Go ahead and solve it on a piece of paper. See what you get. And press pause if you need more time. Step 1. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 2. That's 6. Step 2. Multiply the denominators. 4 times 3, that's 12. 3 fourths times 2 thirds equals 6 twelfths, or 1 half. If you saw, that could be simplified. Nice job. Now, try this one. See what you get. Did you multiply the numerators and get eight? Multiply the denominators and get 15? I hope so. Let's try just one more. Try this one. See what you get. Did you get 18 sixtieths? I hope so. And some of you maybe even simplified it and knew that it was 3 tenths. Nice job, everybody. I'm just going to keep working on the next video while you all have some sweet multiplying fractions dreams. I'll see you next time on Math Practice with Mrs. Smith. 